here to tell us a little bit about the science behind sound is the legend Greg Foot. Hey. This Hi. is one of my favourite experiments. Can't wait. This combines you look excited. Music and fire. Wow. This is cooler yes. than Clive the Cucumber, my friend. Let me tell you that now. First things first, though. Let's have a look at a piano. Lindsay, you play yes. the piano, right? Uh, Sometimes. Just give us a tinkle of the old ivories there, if you could. Okay. Go on, so Lindsay. just anything. Yeah, anything. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Now, key. if you just hit one note for me, just one key. So, yeah. That's it. Yeah. So what's happening is you're actually moving a lever inside, and it's causing this little hammer here to hit against the string, ah, okay. and that causes that string to wiggle. It causes it to vibrate, and it wiggles. It vibrates the air around it as well, and that then vibrates the air molecules next to that, and the ones next to that, all the way to your ear. Oh, wow, that's if how I hear it. Yeah, if you think about dropping a, a stone into a pond, yeah. you drop it in and then you get ripples coming out. All those water molecules are vibrating the ones next to it. You get a wave. Sound is exactly the same, but it's a wave in air, not water. So how ah. exactly do you hear that wave, though? How does it travel into your ear? So it comes towards your ear, that uh -huh. wave of sound, and it gets funneled down into your ear canal here. And then it hits your eardrum, which I can pull out. Gross. It sets your <laughs> eardrum vibrating as well. And then your eardrum actually vibrates all these little bones next to it and causes some, some fluid in your inner ear to vibrate and that sends a signal to your brain. So it's all about that sound is a wave and it's a series of vibrations. Every single time we hear something, all that goes Isn't on. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. But I want to actually have a look at some sound. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Greg, hang on a minute. Sound travels through air. You've just said that. Yeah. The air is invisible. How are we going to see this? Absolutely. Well, I don't want to put it through air. I want to put it through gas. Yes. Flammable gas. <laughs> I love Whoa. it. Yeah. I'll okay. never get bored of that, but please don't try this at home. For goodness sake, stay safe. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is known as a Rubens tube, and at the end here I've got a speaker, and the speaker is attached to a microphone that I've put inside the piano. Okay. So just give us a few notes, just give us a little uh, few chords, yeah. You can see it's dancing around. Wait, what's happening? So what's happening is the speaker is vibrating back and forth, and it's setting off those vibrations, a sound wave, all yeah. the way through the tube. But I've been clever. I've blocked the tube at the other end, so the waves actually bounce back, oh. and they mix up inside the tube. Now, if we hit the perfect note on the piano, we're going to be able to freeze that sound wave made of fire wow. in mid-air. So that's what this we're going to try. This is ridiculous. Oh, Let's yeah. do it. Okay. So give us a low note, if you can, please. Uh, Let's start with a low note. Like... There we go. Yeah, that's good. OK, lovely. Now, what you can see is we've actually got a peak and a trough, and a peak and a trough, and a peak. So we've got a wave kind of frozen in mid-air. Remember that one. Now go to okay. a higher note. Jump higher. right up. Oh, yeah. There, 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 right, perfect. Look, so you get a peak and a peak and a peak and a peak and a peak. So now the waves are a lot smaller. Yeah. They're, they're like that compared to being like that, like they were before. And this is all sound is. Music is just a series of waves. Big, long waves are low notes. Short little, uh, short little waves are high notes. Easy as that. Good. There's actually something that I've seen that's pretty cool, and it's where you can use sound to actually break glass. Can I put you on the spot? <laughs> Just a bit. OK, so this is theoretically possible, right? It okay. can happen. Yeah. But it is so, so hard to try, is especially it? on a live show. <laughs> but I thought, why not try it? Do it anyway. Why not try theater, it? Isn't so it? what we need is we need a singer. A singer who can sing really, really loudly. Right. And do that. hit a note and keep that note really perfect. OK, that rules us out. We can't do that, can no. we? So I think we should welcome in scientific singer. It's Helen. Hey! Yes! Yeah. Helen. Hello. Welcome to the show. Thank you for coming on Blue Peter today. Absolute pleasure to sing for science. Which I cannot wait for this. Greg, what's going to happen? What okay. is going to happen? So here's the thing. If Helen was to sing actually at the glass yes. like this, okay. it could smash, right? And that's dangerous. So what I've done is I've set up a speaker here and I've put the glass above the speaker. So Helen's voice is going to go into that microphone, it's going to travel through and it's going to go to the speaker, the speaker's going to vibrate, it's going to make the air vibrate and it's going to set the glass vibrating. But she can't just hit it with any old note, right? Uh -oh. This is the note that she's trying to go for. If you flick a glass very carefully, that is the note that a glass likes to vibrate with. Don't try that at home, OK? It's proper dangerous. You can flick a glass, you get a perfect note. That We're going to call that its natural frequency. Now. I've, I've actually flicked this glass earlier and worked out that note that you need to hit this with. Uh, and this is that note. OK. Now, I've put a oh, ping-pong yeah. ball inside, and that shows you when the glass is vibrating. The ball won't smash the glass, all right? Okay. It's Helen's voice that's going to smash the glass. So, Helen, guys... Come on. Helen, do you think you can do this? It's live. We get one chance. I, I'm ready. Is the glass yes. ready? Yes! Oh. I like that answer. Ear protection, eye protection, please, okay. guys. 
Now, we should Helen's say one more time, as well. do not try this at home. Helen is a pro, as is Greg, so please don't do this at home. OK, right, here we so, go. Helen, here's your tone. the power of sound. Yes. That was amazing. We are so buzzing. We weren't sure if that was going to happen <laughs> no, on the live no, show, not were even we? Slightly, so, no. Helen, thank you for coming in and being wonderful. Same to you, Greg. And You're if you want to see thank more you. from Greg, he's answered some of your questions on the website. Oh, I need to sit down. That was great.